Okay, this is uh, the next test of the Bill Paxson Pinball homemade uh, display system. Now I'm using the Parallax propeller chip, which is you know, a lot more advanced than the basic stamp. And cheaper, too. Very, very cheap, actually. Like, eight bucks. Anyway, what this is going to do is, now the propeller is going to program some RAM, which is this chip here, which will act as the screen memory, for lack of a better term. And uh, then once it programs the screen memory, the screen memory will take over the displaying rather than the, the propeller chip. And uh, one advantage of this is you don't have to um, erase the column you're drawing before you draw the next one to avoid the ghosting. Since it's basically just directly raking it off the RAM, the ghosting is not an issue. Uh, and what I've changed here is there is now a uh, two bits going to a binary counter. And what that does is allow me to address the 64 columns using just two bits on the propeller instead of six, you know, because I want as many pins as possible. Even though, you know, I, as I said, the propellers are cheap, so it wouldn't be a big deal to have multiple processors in the new system. All right, so let me show you how this works. I'm going to turn it on. And when I run the program, it will program its RAM slowly so you can see it. And then it will switch to RAM only. Okay, so this is its programming the RAM. And now that's just the RAM running. And so right now I can actually remove the parallel connection from the propeller and it doesn't matter because um, the RAM is doing it right now. However, the propeller is still sending a strobe signal basically going vroom, 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 drawing the columns. So basically it is still strobing the RAM. And that could be done externally with a different oscillator. I might do that, but it just depends on how many pins I have left or left over. The propeller has like eight processors in it. I mean, I'm sure it can handle it. But you see, I mean, basically I can free up pins and, uh, yeah, you know, make some of the circuitry external. And besides, it's fun to, you know, make external circuitry circuits. I won't lie. So if I take this one off, it will disable. All right, well, hopefully I have some more updates soon, including a score counter and using the EEPROM to display messages instead of having to use the memory on the chip.